Hey beautiful Virgo, I thought I'll give you guys a bonus reading, seeing as the one I did previously, the audio was terrible and you guys deserve it, you've been giving me a lot of support lately. So I asked a different question around love and it was, who? tell me about the person Virgo is meant to be with, tell me who Virgo is meant to be with. Now with regards to star signs, we have double Aquarius energy here, okay? And I think that's in particular a message to those of you that have a Libra moon. You tend to get on with an air sign. Okay, not a lot of people know that. Um, but I see here such, such positive messages with regards to the person that you're meant to be with. The Ten of Pentacles. This is commitment. Someone that is equally committed to you as you are to them somebody that you could potentially make money with go into business together with this is someone that you can grow with where prosperity will arise this is a very auspicious card this is where luck is on your side if someone could look up the spiritual meaning of a mice or a mouse <laughs> and um put it in the comment section i'd really appreciate it please remember to um i'm getting lost in words when's mercury retrograde please remember to interact with the video okay my fellow virgos um but yeah somebody that you can grow with someone that's committed to you equally as you are committed to them someone that you could potentially potentially go into business with and then we have the star card here so this is someone that i feel you're able to inspire one another someone that is i feel like for those of you that are single everything is as it should be and someone's going to fall into your path okay it, it feels like it should be effortless okay and maybe that sounds a bit like yeah this is the ideal relationship for most people but i'm talking to you virgo okay and that's why i asked her someone that you can be young with take risks with sensible risks enjoy life someone you can be a kid with virgo you can act like a kid together. It can be silly, you know, non-judgmental platform, giddy and that childlike energy, okay? Where you can learn from each other, I'm getting with the star card there. You look up to each other, you inspire one another, you push one another to be the best version of themselves. So, <clears throat> I'm going to push that aside and I'm going to ask, what's the energy around love? What's the messages around love? The judgment card, which is an indication and a couple of people have put it in the comment section on recent videos. Someone coming back, someone reaching out to you. It could be a Scorpio, it doesn't have to be. Someone realising, actually, I want to talk to Virgo. I want to reach out to them. I want to connect with them. The judgment card can signify not only someone reaching out to you and contacting you, but someone that wants to make things right, put things right, do the right thing. What's going on with Virgo's love reading? And this could be someone that walked away from you. Someone maybe wanting to communicate that, you know, the passion's there. Um, either rekindle or keep the flame kind of burning. What's going on for Virgo's right now? wow there is somebody here Virgo that is either convinced or they just know it in the depths of their soul that you guys are either meant to be together or learn from each other you're meant to be in each other's life okay and maybe you you find that difficult to believe tell me more what's going on for Virgo's Virgo's love energy. What's going on in Virgo's love life, if any? <laughs> Virgo's love reading. There could be multiple people here. Let me zoom out if I can slightly. There could be multiple people here. I feel like there is a sensitive person here on the outside this person is 
I'm fine, I'm independent, I don't need um, other people's help, maybe. Perhaps this is somebody that's very ambitious, somebody that's a strong character, I'm getting a strong character, okay? And I feel like this is more external, where internally I get somebody that's very much in touch with their emotions. This is somebody that doesn't mind talking about their feelings. And this is the kind of person that a lot of Virgos, I believe, need in their life. Okay? Someone that's emotionally supportive, of course. But able to talk about their feelings. Because at times, Virgo, we can find that difficult. Sometimes we can kind of like, yeah, disconnect or detach. Because maybe someone doesn't tick all our boxes or something feels a bit off we can withdraw but i feel like there's an energy here where this person is going to bring out that side of you so and hopefully a sense of commitment some sort of commitment here this seems to be a kind of like a wise type of energy i like this energy maybe they've got long hair or facial hair maybe they're spiritual Maybe this person is the type of person that really comes out with some wise um, dialogue. I think we should clarify some cards, actually. So let's clarify the judgment card for Virgo's love reading. Why is the judgment card here? The Seven of Cups. Maybe this person made you feel quite confused. I feel like there's trust issues here with the Seven of Swords. Maybe there's been miscommunication in the past. Or maybe this confusion is like, are we friends? Are we something more? Are we going to keep this as a friendship? Is this going to develop into something more? But whoever this is, they're part of your soul tribe. It's that confusion, like, you know, that love of perhaps your brother or your sister. Is it that kind of connection or is it something more? So I think that's what this person is realising or trying to at least um, work out and work through. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Why is this Ace of Wands here in Virgo's love reading? Wow. Wow. Ten of Cups, which is emotional contentment. Somebody that you can really kind of be yourself around. Queen of Wands in the reverse position there. I feel like this person or you or both of you feel kind of like um, what well, it's very important how the other person views the other person, if that makes sense. How you view each other. Like this person respects your opinion um, and they want to be seen in a good light by you, okay? For some of you guys, it may be a cancer, um, but I feel like there's somebody coming in here. I feel like this person is kind of like territorial as well. Interesting. So tell me more about this King of Cups. And this, you know, this could be multiple people for some of you guys, because we do have two kings here. Okay. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Knight of Wands. There's adventure here. There's excitement. It's almost like, you know, that butterfly feeling in your stomach. Um, another knight. It's like, it's like traveling. It's moving forward. Why is this King of Cups here? This person's ambitious. This person likes excitement, adventure. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? The moon card. So I get this sense of um, them maybe being confused with where to go now. How to move forward. There's a strong healing energy here. There's a Leo energy here for some of you guys. Also Pisces. Um, doesn't have to be those signs. Something about being patient and kind of like... Uh, Following their intuition with the moon card there. 
this person is acting on their intuition and following, being guided by their intuition or letting their intuition guide them. They're very interesting here. Big changes going on in the love life for um for some of you Virgos. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Thank you for the continued support. I freaking love you guys. You can book me for a personal. Just get in touch. Follow me on the socials. I follow back. Catch me for live tarot. As I always say, my fellow Virgos, be kind to others. But most importantly, be kind to you. And a gift that will catch you on the rebound. Mwah.